hey everyone thank you so much for tuning in today's video is going to be on this plant which is kind of new to my collection and uh, the name is musa cm ruby it comes in kind of different variegations and uh, i just don't know which one i was supposed to get i ordered it it took many months to come from thailand with all these restrictions you have all the paperwork anyway eventually i got it and uh, the reason this plant is still so small despite we have pretty much passed the summer because i almost killed it in the root rot so it was it came in a plastic pot and i left it outside it kept on raining and it had no drainage i didn't know it had no drainage and i was thinking why is it looking so sad and i picked it up the roots were all dying so i had to pull up all the dead roots and literally start it again from scratch and i just think it's pretty solid for a plant to come to this country go through root rot and still survive so that's one of the reasons this plant has done not so great and um, i mean by this time i expected my dahlias to be shorter and my Musa Siem Ruby to be much more taller. I mean, compare this to Sikimensis. Sikimensis uh, was pretty much killed last year with this winter. And this has come from the roots because it was root hardy. And I have got a new plant which has gained so much more height, which started way after planting Musa Siem Ruby uh, in this raised bed here. In terms of soil, I didn't really go any specific it's really any raised bed soil I have which is a mix of topsoil compost farmyard manure and of course I have put a lot of uh, miracle grow slow release fertilizer as well uh, when the new leaf comes in is quite green you can see this new ones coming in and as soon as it hits really nice sun it starts to change into red and I I don't think I can capture the beauty in the camera it just does look absolutely stunning i mean that was the very reason that i went for sikimensis but the variegation isn't that great so then i found this one which is absolute beauty now there is a bit of contradiction in terms of if it can survive winter so the reason i bought this one when i did a quick search is hardy from usda zone 8 onwards and now I have bought it. Apparently, it's not hardy. It does not like frost. So I have to really dig it up. And I don't have a greenhouse. I'm planning to take it indoors. The biggest drawback of this plant is if you have to take it indoors, that it's a magnet to spider mites. And now you can imagine if you have a house plant collection, how much you have to prepare for it and, and think about that your indoor plants don't get infested. I mean, the option I was going to try is that if it has grown a lot more and has produced a pup, I was going to test one in and one out. So I was going to leave the big one outside, take the small one inside and see if it is root hardy like Musa Bastu, maybe not to that extent. Maybe it was going to show some kind of hardiness, but because I don't have any pup, the only option I have is to take it indoors. And even if I did have greenhouse based on what I have read, that it needs heat. So unless you unless you have a heat in greenhouse, it's, otherwise it's, it's no good. Uh, in terms of height, I think it can gain up to three meters, but I would doubt it that in temperatures like we have this year, or even country like us, we have we are in the UK that we will get to see three meter tall specimen. But you just never know. With all this global warming, we might have much better summer next year, and we they might flourish. Um, so all in all, it's going to be really. Uh, fingers crossed that is going to survive and that's what i'm looking forward to but thank you so much for tuning in and if you have seen one good specimen or you know how to take care of it please do share in comments because that'll be so helpful if you have bought this one you know this cost of fortune and i just don't want to lose it thank you so much for tuning in bye bye